friends, it's Andrew from Reselling Freedom. Welcome back to the eBay room. I have my quality control assistant with me today. She's a little sleepy. She's a 60 pound baby, so she's sleeping on my lap. Let's go over April sales. I have my notes up. I had a total of 25 sales, no returns, no negative feedback, no neutral feedback. Still, <laughs> still at 100% with a total of 551 positive feedback. So the lowest sale for last month was a strapless shirt from Express. I have a lot of Express stuff to sell. It does not sell well. Every once in a while there's something good, <laughs> but but it is not often. So I had the, a low one of $7.29. I was sending out a bunch of offers just to get stuff out. If it sits, I don't care, but seven bucks, she's gotta go highest sale and I accepted the offer. I did not want to. I actually had two offers within two days for the same item. It was a Gucci tweed dress. I'll add a little picture here. I took the offer of 400 bucks. I think I had it listed for like six or seven. Figured it had to go 400 bucks is better than zero. Some sales are better than no sales. So out she went. We have golf shirts Express skirts, Forever 21, also do not recommend. This is still some of the stuff that my friend gave me, but all of the stuff from her is in absolutely perfect condition. And I'd say at least 50% of it, all have tags on it. So I'm actually going through a bunch of it and putting them all together as lots. Next to me, I have a lot of jeans I was working on over the weekend. Jeans are really heavy. So I have a lot of like Miss Me jeans, all the same size, a group of 20, a size 25, a group of size 26. She also had a lot of BB shirts, which are actually selling quite well and relatively quickly. I think they're just old enough where they're like cool again, which makes me feel old because we're not the same age. Sure glad there are no old people here. But most of those have tags on them. They had little like sequins on the front. She actually gave me stuff years ago and we had a whole selection of guest t-shirts, which also sold pretty well. So we have BB Diva Pink. Their tags have their color names on them and I just love it. Diva Pink t-shirt sold for $16. A black rhinestone BB shirt sold for 22. I listed this morning a puffer cowl neck zipper jacket, which a lot of the stuff I try on, I'm like, do I need t-shirts? Not, not yet. I live in sweatshirts and leggings still. Let's see, we had express leggings, random hat, a few older items sold. I had Christmas ornaments from, I don't know, years ago. Randomly sold one of those. It's a Thomas Kincaid, which sold for 10 bucks. I think I got that at a garage sale for like 50 cents. She gave me a lot of Victoria's Secret uh, tank tops too. And some of those are now old enough where they're cool again. I listed a jacket yesterday that said, 2013 Victoria's Secret fashion show in New York. Some of the stuff you just have to be careful of because if it sits too long, I had to throw one away. The leaves were like a polyester pleather kind of feel and it was dry rot and I had like little black speckles of material all over the kitchen floor. So that one did not stay. Dry rot is real. She did give me two bags of shoes. Those also went. Now random things will still sell. I sold a Target joy canvas bag for 10 bucks, eight bucks. Somebody had given that to me. I did see when I was looking the, that kind of item up that there were older ones, like their employee appreciation gifts were selling for like 30 or 40 bucks. It just so happened this one wasn't one of the popular ones, but I also take eight bucks. Charlotte Russe also don't recommend picking it up. Sold a pair of shorts for $9. But the stuff that's coming to me for free that I just list and we split it, no problem because it's all in perfect condition. Tons of coach purses. I've sold a few. Coach Hampton Laguna shimmer leather handbag, $112, also new with tags. Coach does not resell well. So actually at the auction, we got a coach wallet randomly from Costco. I was like, oh, I could take this home. Like I'm probably gonna get more for it through the auction than I would on eBay if I have it listed for God knows how long. A pair of men's Santoni 11 and a half brown lace up sneakers, $45. I actually have a few pairs of those. I sent some to the real real and because they're leather, they have a little scuff marks on the side and they just did not want them. Real real total should be coming in next week because they do their payouts monthly. I think it was like 68 bucks. I did send 17 items to them at about two weeks ago. I've received one item back so far that they're not accepting, but I deleted the listing from eBay 
and I left them in unsold so if they send them back to me all they have to do is go back in and hit relist done there's one that they couldn't verify authentication one had a stain on the side they did not accept the brand which I kind of laughed at because when you send the, your stuff into there you have to like click on the drop down boxes like I don't know coach vintage purse handbag and then you can hit add to your listing no big deal send it back to me and I will just relist it now the eBay room is a disaster between the sleeping dog in my lap and all of the different bags of jeans and rearranging stuff there really isn't a path this little one was eating some tissue paper yesterday so I have that on my desk my goal was to clean it yesterday clearly didn't happen so I have to rearrange I'm actually gonna add a link in the description for a real real referral if you guys want to use that you get I think it's like a hundred bucks they were having a promo I'm not sure if it still ended but thanks for coming along a little update on what sold last month Let's see if we can get some more sales in because uh, there are bags everywhere. There are stacks of boxes in my kitchen. With all the lots I was doing, I was putting them inside priority boxes and then like labeling lot of express jeans, lot of miss me jeans. I took pictures the other day of 21 express tank tops, all size extra small. I'm like, I, I don't want to list them for 10 bucks a piece and they're not in style anymore. And there's a lot of sequins. So those are just getting put in one big box but I have them just stacked once I clean this area up a little bit <laughs> you guys it's bad once I clean everything up I'll have more room I'll stack things up I've got more totes I need to rearrange stuff but I mean I'd rather take pictures and list than organize and clean uh I know thanks for coming along you guys know what to do like comment subscribe I'll catch you next time